Hey everyone, today I'm trying Bellatoria's Ultimate Pepperoni Frozen Pizza. Uh, this is a new one to me, so I haven't had this one before, so I'm interested to try it out. They had a special at my local Harris Teeter, uh, buy one get one free, so we were able to get this pizza for half off. This Bellatoria Ultimate Pepperoni has mozzarella, parmesan, and Asiago cheeses with rich Italian sauce. So it should be, should be a pretty tasty pie. Uh, one thing I found that's interesting, this one is actually distributed by Bernatelio's Pizza out of Maple Lake, Minnesota. And I'm just amazed at how many of the frozen pizzas in the United States come out of Wisconsin and Minnesota. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I just didn't realize how many of them there were that actually came out of, out of those two states. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see how it looks. The pepperonis on here are not, sometimes you get the, the frozen pizzas and they're like really stuck in there and I like to cook it before, but this one, the pepperonis are not, not too stuck in there. So it looks like I might be able to rearrange these before cooking. Oh, they give you one, one less than you need. Looks like I only got 17 on here. Oh, are there any doubled up? No. Looks like you only get 17 pepperonis on this Bellatoria. Okay, so pizza's done. It's been in there about 10 minutes. I personally like my pizzas the way I like my brownies, you know, a little bit on the, the underdone side. Cheese melted up real nice. Say, not a ton of Italian seasoning on there. All right, cut it up here. I do wish it had that, that one more pepperoni to give it to 18. Only 17 pepperonis on this bad boy. Definitely looks very tasty. All right, pizza time. A new frozen pizza bellatoria. I tell you, the cheese, the amount of cheese on it is, is really good. It's got a lot, lot more cheese than some of the other frozen pizzas that I've seen. As you can tell from that cheese pull right there, yeah. So I tell you that the Bellatoria, it's just a good looking slice. You can see it's got a good amount of cheese on there. You can see the thickness of those pepperonis are not super thin like, like some other brands. So it's just, it's just got good quality ingredients, it seems like, on this one. You know, the bottom has got a, got a little bit of character there. It doesn't look like a, you know, a cheap frozen pizza. So, you know, I cook it on the you know, lightest amount so it doesn't have any kind of, you know, too much browning. So to me, this is cooked really well. So it's not too crisp, but I mean, it just has a, a great taste, a great amount of ingredients, and it's just, it's a solid pizza. Sauce is pretty good. This is a, this is a, this is a good pizza. Hmm. Yeah, I've never heard of this one before, just until I went to the grocery store, but this one is definitely worth trying. The sauce on this, the sauce on this one's pretty good. I mean, if you do like a thin crust pizza, this is definitely one to try. Yeah, I tell you, I, I really like this one. It's, it's pretty tasty. I mean, the cheese is very good. It's got that three cheese blend. The sauce is, sauce is very tasty. Pepperonis are a decent thickness. I'm a big fan of cheese, so the more cheese I can put on there, the better. And this one, for a thin crust pizza, has a good amount of cheese. It's got a good amount of sauce that... The last one I had, that American flatbread... That just didn't have any sauce on there. And if you don't have any sauce on a pizza, I, I just don't like it as much. For pizza, I'm going to give the Bellatoria an 8.3 on the frozen pizza scale. It's, it is, I think it's one of the best frozen pizzas I've had. I'm really pleasantly surprised. I've been trying to find something like this for a while, so that, that's awesome. Uh, ultra thin crust is not necessarily my favorite, but the, the cheese and the sauce and the, and the other ingredients is, just make it really good. Um, so yeah, definitely worth giving a shot for value. I'm going to give the Bellatoria an eight. I mean, for it being such a good pizza, I paid, uh, it's regularly priced eight forty nine in the store, which that's a bit high, but I got on a buy one, get one special. So it's half off. So it was four and a quarter for a pizza and four and a quarter for this pizza, I think is, is very fair. So, uh, definitely keep your eye out for it when you see it go on sale and, and give it a shot. Okay. So for our running rankings, we got... The Light will take and bake. Then we got Newman's own thin and crispy. The American flatbread. One bite. Surfer boy, Stranger Things. Home run in. Freshetta rising crust. DiGiorno rising crust. Wild Mike's. 
Connie's Pizza, Red Baron, and then I can't, I don't know if I can do this without consulting with the family, but we're putting the Bellatoria at the top. Uh, I'm going to have to have uh, Jen, Avery, and Caden and Kellen all try this and make sure that this is okay with the family. But for me right now, I, I think that's the top. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Get the booty up, Caden. Get the hand up and the booty up. Woo!